to the Kenny Keke Ogunwe Broadcasting, all the way live from Ajao Estate in Lagos. In the studio with me currently, one and the only Honorable Otumba Dayo D1 Adine. Good morning, Otumba. Good morning, my brother. How are you, Baba Keke? Very well, thank you. Like your rubas, we say, share Rojoi. Are you? <laughs> Welcome to the show. As usual, we will have a special guest who will be joining us very, very shortly. We will take an in-depth look at his career, his life, what he's been up to, what he's been doing, and what he looks to, to attain in the very, very, very near future. So, all that and much more, if you keep it locked right here, Kenneth. All right. When we come back, we'll be talking to our guest. Don't go anywhere. Play us God win by one and only Corey Bello. I thank you so much for being part of the show. Right about now, we have our guest. We told you we have a guest. Uh, first and foremost, let's introduce ourselves. Yours truly, world famous Kenny Keke. I am world famous. I am the one at the They call me the professor. I when, when spelled correctly, how many apps are in professor? That's another day. Can you spell that backward? <laughs> That's another day. <laughs> we have a guest in, with us. Their guest is a veteran. He's been in the industry for the past 30 years. He started way, way long time ago. He started from humble beginning all the way from Ajegunle City, uh, the one we all know as AJ. Wanted to be a comedian, wanted to be a footballer, ended up being a superstar. Currently, he's in Europe. He's not in Nigeria. Uh, again, we'll be able to get away to to Ireland, Dublin, Ireland, where he's standing by currently. And of course, if your hands are not too busy, are you, you're very ready, help us. Welcome him. One and only, Daddy Shoki. Somebody call my name. Shoki. Somebody call my name. Shoki. Oh, everybody call out my name now. Everybody, 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 everybody. Good morning, Shoki. All right, you are with me. With us, we have our D1. Uh, you saw D1 on Instagram. I did also on Instagram. I'm also yes. here with them. Together, we are hosting you today. Isn't that nice? This, 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 is, this is a big one. When I saw when I saw the poster, my mind first of all shaped. I said, "Oh, it's going to be Wahala." Getting these three great men together to interview me or discuss with me. Man, it's a great honor. Thank you, Shoki. D1 ID, over to you now. Hey, my brother. Oh, oh now confirm me, though. <laughs> 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 oh, me. Oh, now confirm me. <laughs> 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 confirm me. Shoki, don't show. Show, show don't show. <laughs> don't tell them why you call me IGB. Nobody knows. I <laughs> know. <laughs> 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 Let's take it from here. Where, what part of the world are you currently? I'm in Longford. What country? Ireland. Okay. Okay. Yeah, your family is based in Ireland, right? Uh, yes. Why are you first? Uh, I know your first yeah. son. Your first son graduated from Ireland. I remember when yes. he was graduating, I almost followed you for the graduation. Yes. No, that was that was his match. Mat matriculation. Matriculation. All right. Yes. My still in this school is going to graduate maybe next year. Oh. All right. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations to the entire family. And admination and all those joint things. Admination and the admination. Congratulations. Let's take you to the beginning. Can we get to know how you got introduced into the music industry? Uh, I started entertainment, not music in particular about the entertainment in 1976. I started as a six years old. I was an acrobat. Wow. And from there, I was, I, I went to do a show in a place called Gondola. And that was the week, they are, the month, they are planning first act 77. So somebody brought me to first act 77. I did acrobat in first act. Um, from all this, I, I still do show within my neighborhood at Jigule. But I was six years old, there was this man taking me around, my mother and my, before I lost my dad in 1978. Wow. So you, you were basically doing uh, acrobatic sequences. When did you start now singing? When did the singing part of it, when did you incorporate you know, you that? Know, all of them goes together because you can't, 
cannot dance. You cannot be a dancer without dancing music. So uh, well, uh, uh, when did you know that you could sing? When did you did, did you start writing lyrics? I mean, you were six when you were doing the. No, it was, it was because my dad loved blues. Blues. Okay. And my dad used to listen to people like BB uh, King, and my dad would my dad would ask me to be singing for him. I would be. Oh, you got it, old baby. You know that I love you. <laughs> and I was, I was young. I was big back jack on the guitar. Boom, 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 baby, come on. I was doing some blues. And from there, my brothers would be laughing at me that I have a husky voice. And my dad would tell him that that is the New Orleans blues, jazz. So I started singing from jazz. And before my day, there was this my uncle. My he's my he's my cousin, but he's still my uncle boy. He was older than me. He had he started buying rap music. We call him OJ's. He started buying rap music, and he would buy a group like uh, Houdini, Grandmaster Flash, in Switch. So I sugar again, and I'll be listening to the songs. So I started rapping from his house. By then, I'll be doing uh, the Curtis Blow. So I started using those songs that I started from rapping. So it was rap that I started from. Wow. Nice one. Nice one. Yeah. So you started rapping. For, I, I'm sure the acrobatics, you know, helped you with, you know, for uh, the formation of some of your dance moves. Yeah. You no, know, what helped me for my dance, what helped me, I've been dancing all type of traditional dance when I was growing up with my acrobat. But what my dance move came out from boxing. Oh, so oh, 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 oh. Yeah, jack of all trades. is from boxing. So when you do your galala, is galala from boxing or from wrestling? No, galala is from boxing. <laughs> he didn't do wrestling. No, he might say he was once a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> Change show kid to show key. No, it was Danny Wilson that changed show kid. How? Show tell kid. us about that. How did that happen? Uh, Danny Wilson was um, a big brother and a role model. I will never forget him. And Danny Wilson saw me and he told me that you are a kid. One day you will grow and turn a man. Why would they be calling you uh, show kid? Then when you become a man, will they still be calling you kid? I told him. Talk about Charlie boy. He's a he's a old man, but he's calling boy. Seventy year old man, still being yeah, called boy. boy. So so Daddy Wilson now said, okay, because he, every time we be abbreviating my name, Shoki, 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 Shoki. So the now the thing started that now now he now told me your name. You are the key to the show. Mm. Anyway, look, when you guys are performing, everybody concentrate on you when you are dancing because by then I was just rapping and dancing. Shoki. Shoki, Shoki. Now, I'm not hear me again. So, so, I want a lot of Danny Wilson. Okay. Which one came first? Your grandma said Shoki, not the, you know, knock him out, or Elder Cool J says, my mama said, knock you out. Ah, uh, my, my grandma told me to knock anybody out. Oh, so <laughs> she said it first. <laughs> Yeah. I always remember my grandma. The mm. first time I had that music, the first time I had Ellen Kujia's music was 1986. Oh. Mama said, knock you out, but you see when I had that song, I remember my grandma 
come because my grandma will always tell me, Don, let me tell you, so you see, man, when you know strong, eh? if you go, they will beat you in front of your wife, but no man will beat you in front of your wife. Eh? Because my grandma, that a young lady, my grandma has one boat, she was very strong. So she, she anytime I listen to her, like, I will say, me, the end of the day, my grandma. <laughs> And you know, I told Ella Kujie this story too about my grandma because when I met Ella Kujie, I told Kujie, I said, Kujie, you know, you, your songs, when he came to Nigeria, I told him your songs are songs that make, if you, anybody that is close to their mom who respect Ella Kujie, because Ella Kujie is to with his grandma was too much. Hmm. All right. It's, it's the first time I'm hearing this story. Thank you so much for sharing that story with us. Now, take us to where you met. Uh, Daddy Fresh, when you came out for the farm, um, you came out with Daddy Fresh, and again you came out with your single. Everybody knows that single. Hello, hello, Nemoto. Hello, eh? Seven, seven, six. Be cool, or no, Daddy? Shocky, fair, wale, Anybody? We get hello, eh? Seven, seven, six. Be cool, or no, Daddy? Shocky, won't come inside. I have to thank you. I have to thank you. And I remember when I did that song. From that award, I will never forget that day in my life, in 1995, where you told me that you are going to support me, you are going to try, because that was the time real power just started. And you guys, today, I, I'm not saying this because you guys are interviewing me, I'm saying it from the bottom of my heart, and I'm very, very grateful with the role you guys played in my life. Because by then, I will say it, you guys did not call that one naira, or one from, I don't know, I might find myself, but for me, you just liked me, maybe because you only hear your name. Yeah, a great you, talent, you, my brother. You, you are a very likable person, Daddy Shoki. <laughs> but that being said, uh, we can't take all the credit. We must also thank High Chief Doctor Raymond Dokwesi as well. No, uh, you, you know, he, you know why? You know, you know why I'm not even talking about about Raymond Dokwesi is this because Raymond Dokwesi has that passion for Ajegunle. Because he, 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 he himself had that experience. He grew up and the mother was has been doing a lot for the children. So why I'm not, but you guys, you guys came from the US, a different package, a different level. You know, see, if people will not know that it's your revolution, you guys came with a different mindset to change the, the Nigerian music industry. By then, we only, we only have people that will say, 30 years have been in this, 40 years have been in this. You guys just came and the revolution was too much. Today, today is over, over, over like five, four years now. Thank God. Receive God the praise. Glory. So, right there, Daddy Joki experienced the red pen. What? Yes. Let's, let's <laughs> explain. Okay, okay let, can we explain the red pen issue, Daddy Joki? Let's explain the red pen issue. When your song, um, Diana, came out, you met a high chief, and high chief said that we should go look for your work. Maybe you gave him a, a track of your record, I mean, your album. He wrote with his red pen that this work must be played every day. Our AIT just came out that time. He said the video must be played every day, every minute, day, afternoon, night. And that was how we played that, them, uh, the, that particular situation every day, every minute. And everybody you, fell you, in you, love. You, you, and hold on, before you talk, I want to let people also be aware that you appreciated the move High Chief did when you had your first song. You named your first son Raymond. Yes, after him. To, after him. What do you say to all this? You see, let, let, I, I, want, I want to play something. You see that song, yeah, Diana. I did, I did a full album from Europe and I brought it to Nigeria. I never gave Raymond Dog, I never gave IT, I never gave IC that uh, CD. I came to play my foreign record for him. When he listened to the record, he said, yeah, this music is commercial, but he's not, he has not seen the Ajebule in me, in the record. I said, okay, Baba. I went back. And, but I did not come to show him what I've done. I just brought this up. But, they were just playing the song first time in um, this program. Oh, lunch it was break. This program that took us. Lunch, lunch break. break. Lunch break. With Jumabi. He was in his office and I was in the studio. And the song.
the music. And he knows. And do you know I've released that record in 97? Wow. After I released it, after I left my son because of what I did, did with the way I did supported me, I named my son after I did. But it was I've released Diana after even after my, my son was even one year, I've released that record in 97. In 98, 1997. But when we played that song in the studio, Titus came and said, Tokas, who played this song? Tokas said, It is Shogi. He said, Come on, come, 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 come. He called everybody. He was including yourself. He invited every one of you to his office. He said, Listen to this song. That this song. It was it was saying some story about somebody that this song is what every woman needs because this song is going to fight for the woman that they have been stigmatized with that you cannot give birth. I was surprised what that man did to my to my life because that song I never knew that that song would change my life. That very song, eh, even if I'm even driving, some women would stop me and they would pray, it's okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it, was it, 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 it became it became a national anthem at that time. Everywhere you went. This morning, this morning I was watching something on Instagram this morning, and one actor and his wife have been married for ten good years. Wow, no issue. Mm. But now they just got the baby yet. Oh, and they I, don't be the glory. And I wrote, I said, if God, if when God has said yes, nobody can say it. Absolutely. So, so it's still. We we take you back to studio. We play a couple of songs from Daddy Shoki. Uh one song from D one maybe one song from ID. For me, it has to be anyway. Hey yo, Talo ni moto. Anyway, seven seven four. Me go lano na di choti fa wole. Talo ni moto. Anyway, seven seven four. Me go lano na di choti wa come inside. As a matter of fact, now I come da di choti. Now I come. Slang everywhere that time. So by anyway, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. That was so cool, so cool, so cool. Hey yo, that was this one. You know, without God, without God, a lot of stories to be told. So, yes. This is Daddy Shoki right here. Kenny, it's 104. All right. You are welcome back. You enjoyed beautiful songs from one and only Shoki. Show Bobo. Show Don't Show. One and only the one with the key to the show. Daddy Shoki. All the way from the UK with us in the studio. You are welcome back. Welcome back, Daddy Shoki. Thank you. All right, welcome back, Shoki Bobo. All right, D1 is also still here. ID is also, also, also still here. What's up, guys? Well, um, it's, a, it's a pleasure to have Shoki here. And uh, we're going down memory lane uh, from where it all started, from the, you know, from AJ City to Alagbado, you know, going around to the world. Now, uh, Air Job came out. It was also a national anthem. We were talking about Dinah just a minute ago. But before Dinah, after you will... After your dance sequences, you started singing. Edjo came out. What was this transition? What was the what was the movement between Edjo and Dinah at that time? How did Edjo fare for you before Dinah came out? Uh, you know that um, my first uh, solo album, Welcome, Edjo, changed my life entirely because. I am a boy that comes from a background of street. I grew up in the street and I went through a lot. And when I was about to do that album, I I tried to go to see some uh, senior musicians for them to advise me. Some of them I've known some of them before I became uh, before I even started uh, singing. People like uh, Aladi Barista and uh, Raski. So I knew Raskimono from Floating Book. I knew Aladi Barista from where I was when I was an acrobat. So I went to them and as especially Aladi Barista. He advised me, he supported me, 
he told me that I should just be myself. And that word, affect, that word took me a very long way that I should just be myself. And another thing, what is myself? Myself is enjoy, enjoy my life. So, and Raskimono told me that him and he was trying to differentiate me from my Jack, Blackie, and himself. That I should just do something different from entirely from what they are doing. So I decided that I said me speaking patwa, I will speak broken English. Mm -hmm. He said me singing, yeah man, I read, I I will use broken English, <laughs> which which is our own. <laughs> and that is the way I changed. And that, that is the meaning of Galala. Amaga Kamala. That is growing and expanding. Say that again. Amaga Kamala. Amaga Kamala. Galala. Kamala. 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 Wow. That is the meaning of Galala. Amaga Kamala. That is growing and expanding. So, and I, my motto was, I'm going to make it. I got anybody like it or not. So that is the meaning of Angel. That's the number to M A seven seven one. Seven plus seven is fourteen. Plus one, fifteen. Fifteen is a odd number. So all odd people give me chance. It's my time to come. That is the but that song. And that song, I cannot forget what that song did to my life. Well, we all can't forget because we we played the heck out of it. I mean, it was played every minute, every second, every hour. Thank Thanks you. to Toto Okewale, Jumobi Adebeson, Dennis the Mene Sogi, All of us play. I mean, when one presenter is exiting the studio, we will take it from the next one. Uh, hey, so, so, give me that, give, give me that, that, that because every every presenter played it on every shift. So, Mama, Mama, yeah. Before you go, before you go too far, there's a story you always tell. There's a story you always tell everybody about your days in the gang and what happened to the gang a day before you changed over. I think a day after you changed over. I need you to tell that story for those of us, so or, happened, uh, for our young what people. Was, what, what happened? My gang member, all of us, when when they nominated me for they nominated me for the Fame Music Award and. We all, we all came together. Let me tell you the bar. I know the way you are, but let me tell you, we all came together. I told them that we need to get to the Mizom Center. And, and, and if we leave Mizom Center after we're going back, I don't care about any award. But if I was just happy that I'm going to mix up with uh, people that are important in life. And if we are, once we are leaving that place, once we get to Lagos Island, all those Lagos Island boys, they try to stop us, to show them that we are from Adebule. You know we have we had bag of weapons, bag of weapons that anyhow we will show them. But you know that day when I got into that hall, the only celebrity that I know that I was close with was Raskimono, and Raskimono knew me from Floating Buka and when he was the DJ in Floating Buka. So I will I will tell my girlfriend that's my wife now. I will tell her that. I'm not surprised seeing all these celebrities in one room. But you know, when Chief Raymond Dopesi was the person that presented my award, that very day as 
were leaving that place, and I called on my my friends, and they were outside. We were at the our two more red bus. They were outside. And I told them that look, if today I can mix up with all these celebrities, I can mix up with all these people, our life has changed. That they should bring out all the bags of weapons that we have. That we should, they should, we now, uh, we now turn the bags, put all our weapons on the lag inside the lagoon mm -hmm. that very day. That was the day our life changed. Mm -hmm. And I promised them that, see, all of you, your life will never come. Some of them did not listen, but the one that listened to me was my dancer, the one that used to dance for me. Mm -hmm. With, with Oswagada. Today, 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 at least that one before he died, he enjoyed his life. You understand? Ah, I will always be grateful. Let me remind you another story. Let me remind you another story. Uh, the story, you came to the studio at Alagbado and uh, there was an instrument being played. You said, you said, Abake, but you want, let me do something for your program. And you yes. jump in the studio, you sang a song. And the song. Who <laughs> knows, <laughs> Oh no, hear me, Jay. One alongside Alongside Kenny and D1. That was a fantastic one. Baba Shoki, as a matter of fact, we have to do a remake of that song. We have to do a remake of that video. Are you with me? So maybe when you come back, or if you have a chance to enter the studio where you are, we need you to do a voiceover for that song. My son, my son, have a studio here. Uh -huh. Ah, you should do it there. Ah, then just do it. Just do it there. I'll send it. We want to use. Uh, we want to use it to surprise our guy, Doctor C, by Friday. So make sure you make sure it's done and sent to us. Wow. Right, right there, Shoki. That is a uh, that's Galala. You said uh, growth. And it's expansion. Right. Now, let me ask you because this is a this is a, a, a creative boom moment we are in right now. You know, leveraging I'm talking about entertainment uh, sector, uh, leveraging technologies that we have. You know, right? Just now you mentioned that there's a studio in your house. Yeah. Back in the day, how far did you have to travel to get to a studio to go to a studio session? And again, let me add part two to that question. You are in the UK, and we want to play this. Island. We want to play yeah. this song. You are in Ireland, rather. And again, we want to make sure we get this song before Friday. How how can you do that in those good old days without talking to FedEx or DHL or Post Office <laughs> in the days of uh, without internet? It's Tell us. Perfect. You know, sometimes I do perform that song. Come, tell me. Everybody come Wow. Wow. It's it's it it always brings back uh, nostalgia, nostalgic feelings, man. Every time I hear it. We wait till when you come back to package it very well so that everybody can enjoy the good the good jingle. No problem. Let, let me, I want to say, I want to tell you a story. You mentioned Daddy Fresh just now. Yes. The, the very first uh, day that I met you, we were, we were taking a flight to Abuja for a show. So it was yes. you, myself, and uh, Daddy Fresh. We were in the same hotel. My very first day in Abuja. You know, I'm talking, what, 20 years ago? I don't remember the show exactly, but we were in the same hotel. Um, Keke and D1 were maybe upstairs, and we were on the same floor. And Daddy Fred, you and Daddy Fred were getting ready, you know, uh, just, uh, just uh, talking about what you're going to do on the, when you get on the stage. And me, I was just looking like, this is Abuja. This is this is beautiful. I went to San Diego. And, you know, so the only thing I said, okay, we are not in San Diego because there is white and black on on the road. You see the roads, uh, they have these uh, white and black 
the evacuations. Tom Tom, huh? Yeah, like Tom Tom. <laughs> so I now said, you know, on our way to the show, not the Mosaic, so the guy that took us to the to the show now, I said, you know, I haven't I was on the balcony for about one hour. So the so the two guys. And I said, you know what? I was on the balcony for two hours, no mosquitoes, no nothing this time. The man looked at me, the driver looked at me and said, Sure, you know, they're going to be able to start that game. He said, This is a good job. But with you guys went on the stage that night, my yeah. very first night of, of seeing Shoki on stage, like, it was okay. wonderful. You know, that, that, that's, that's another thing you have to you have give Shoki of energy. I mean, the energy he brings to the stage. Yeah. I mean, same from 20 years ago till now. He doesn't, the same. Uh, vibrancy, and yeah. the same. It's dance. How have you been able to still maintain the physical capabilities to do that, even at this the advanced age, that you still been able to do? And those dances are they very physically classic. demanding and very classic, very very physically demanding. How have you? I, I I've seen some of your skits where you do your workouts. I know you work out and you stay in shape, but I mean, with age, you have to slow down a bit. But you don't seem to be to have slowed down at all, my brother. The truth, the truth is that the name speaks for itself, Shoki. The, the name is Shoki, and Shoki is not just a musician, but an entertainer. In every situation, an entertainer will look for a new pole to entertain the people. And you must get your inspiration from your, like me, my life and my, my past to my present is my inspiration. Everything about my music is about my life, so I get my energy from 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 what I see and where anything that I do, I believe entertainment is all around me. We are right. going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to talk about I don't want to say a sad moment, but a turning point in your life when you had your accident. So think about that. We want you to talk about that just briefly, uh, so that everybody knows that and uh, reminds us that we all have our ups and downs. Shoki did have a downside yes. to it, but you picked up with thank God. So we'll take a short break and we come back with more of Daddy Shoki right here. Ken is 104, Prime Time Enjoy. Africa. Enjoy. Enjoy. Still rocking with Kenneth in the morning on your Kenneth FM. We have a guest in the building, one and only Shoki Bobo, who is with us all the way from Ireland. That's our talk about Dublin. Thank you so much, Daddy Shoki. Also in the studio, world famous Otumba Dayo D1 Adinaye, also here in the studios. World famous professor ID Ogube. Gentlemen, you are welcome. Permit, permit me to quickly acknowledge uh, some of our friends who are here. Okay. okay. Um, Femi Davis, Otuba Femi Davis. Otuba Femi uh, Davis, thank you. Uh, MS Omogi. Thank you. Henry Knight. Henry Knight. I am Bullet Snare. All right. Um, Daddy Shoki is back with us, of course. All right. Um, quite a few producers also here. Stan, Stan Actor, producer. Lifter Gold Connections, thank okay. you all for joining us and we appreciate your comments and I'm sure that the show is also following and reading your comments as well. Alright, let's now take you to all the way to Dublin, Ireland, where we have one and only Shoki, 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 Sing along, people. Shoki, Shoki, Shoki. Uh, on that note, let, let me say, say Shoki. Uh, good music came out of, uh, we're still coming out of Ajegun. Uh, and and let's, uh, let's not forget, first back, back in the days. Where, where is good music coming out of? You know, today. These days. And then, why is that so? Why is Ajegun so synonymous? Synonymous to good music and the second part football, but talk about good uh, music for now. The, the the truth is that I don't believe it is area; it is time. You know, back when we were growing up, most of the role model. That's why I tell people the role model. What we do is not uh, inspire children. That you see when you talk about music. Coming out from Adegule. In those days, the only thing that people talk about Adegule is crime, bad things, and this is what is going on. But you see, when I, when I, with the 
help of you guys and the help of positive people. When I came out publicly and said, ah, I come from a gay village. Any children back then did not have good role models. They did not have people, they did, people that they look up to back then. They only look up people that are gangsters, people that are this. But me, coming from the streets and they see that I'm doing something positive, most of, most of them jumped into music. And me, I was singing with the pain and the experience that I have in my neighborhood, trying to sell it to the world. And I, 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 I came out and said, ah, I am from Ababa, or I am from VI. I will kill, I will kill this, the, the movement. Um, I will kill the excitement, the motivation, the, the inspiration for those children. So today, today, I always say, even if you talk about first half today, that so let me say the likes of two face because they, they were first stack. That is why we say why first stack and Ajekule. But every area, every generation, every generation, a child is born and they have gift. I like that. All right, they have like gift. That. So that so it is it is a gift. Every every child is gift. like me. I always tell people when I when I used to when I talk about that, I'm not talking about Ajekule. Ajekule is better than some areas. No. It is my upbringing, my alma mater, my experience. Like, my experience from right. my neighborhood. That was what I was talking about. Trying to kill the village yeah. that people have about that place. And that is where you like to. Today, if you talk, if you talk about music, I'm not the first Ajebule person to do music. I was just the messenger. Now, maybe the Jesus Christ has come. I was just John the Baptist preaching of the coming of Jesus. All right. Now, we, before the break, um, you mentioned something about your, uh, I don't want to call it your down moment. Um, you, you had an accident some years back uh, that slowed things down. Yes. Um, you have to take some time off to recuperate. Um, did that in any way affect your outlook, your input, and how you are going to your music? And your... Baba, the first of all, uh, God, God will bless you uh, for this question because he's here. I... When I had that accident, I was with you guys. You guys don't know what happened to me. But that day, I was with you guys at Olumen Day's birthday in a, a case place. And if I, I still tell people that you guys have that video where my I was I was not putting on any shoe. I came with bare foot. And you guys were asking me, "Ah, oh, where is my shoe?" You are Baba Keke. You were interviewing me that very day. And I will not lie. That's why I tell people, anybody that will say, when you are drunk, you drive where you are not deceiving yourself. And I left that venue from a case place to a certain gold room. I went to drop my dance. I was swagger in the Koyi, where he lives in the Koyi. And I was going to, that was where I had that accident in 2007. That very day. For three years, I could not walk. And when I went, when I left Nigeria, I was flew, uh, they flew me out, they flew me out of Nigeria. And when I got abroad, I was there for three years. I could not walk. And the doctors asked me that I should slow down. When I, I came back in 2010, 2010, that was when I came back. And but my bros, it was not easy. You won't believe me. For that three years, I saw hell. And I was, I was, I was there when. Uh, um, Sonny Okosu died. Sonny Okosu, Orlando, or Oliver Liku, I was in the hospital when he died. And when I came back, all my friends, I'm back again, I won't lie for you, all my friends, all my friends, that's why for me, maybe some musicians might be hearing me today, the only friend that I remember that I have when I had that problem was Masuma. Is who? Masuma. Okay. Masuma. And uh, and Sabi Okosu. Okay. Because when I came back, Sabi was just trying to help me, motivating me that I should not worry. That's why I call Sabi man of God. That's All why right. I call Sabi Okosu man of God. Anytime you hear me say man of God, Sabi Okosu that I'm talking about. But every other musician, everybody, some of them will be mocking me. Especially one online TV gem they call Hollywood online. Hollywood. They, 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 wrote, they don't know what I was going to do. They wrote, they said I was dead, that my career has finished. I, I, they were talking about career. Instead of talking about my life, I could 
not work for three years, and I came back and as if I was arrested for drug, my name would be all over the world. But I thank God that the, I spent my money in treating myself. But I even got to the point that I did not have any money anymore. It was gospel about you. I would, no matter what anybody like, anybody can say about gospel about you. But for that moment, it was gospel. I don't know, somebody was gospel of asking somebody, because me and gospel, gospel has been my friend before he became governor. So, gospel of asking somebody that he is not a governor, he has not seen me. The person that told him that I had a car accident, that was the way God was sent me. His commissioner of health, uh, Asian, Asian, Dr. Asian, to look for me. I was in the hospital when they tried. They, they, they took me from, from Europe, from Haram in Germany. They flew me now to the US. It was gospel Apapio. So Apapio was, and by then when I came back, because when I came back, because of what he has done for me, I did not go back to meet Apapio. I was, I was just sitting before I now called my friends that we have to relocate. I have to leave Lagos because of the shame. I don't want anybody to start writing that. I am begging, I am this, because these physicians, you see, they are not your friends. They are only your friends when you are celebrating. When people see you on a um, on party, they want, want, they want to celebrate you. But when you have problems, you won't see any one of them. I can tell you today, that you tell you that all of them that you see, they are fair with their friends. My brother, my brother, God, God has, God had, has, and still has purpose for your life. Yes, so uh, uh, the reason I asked because I remember I, I, you and I, we, I ran into you. I didn't even know you were back. I knew you were you were in Germany for a while. I didn't know you were back. I ran into you. I think at the petrol station or something, and you were very reluctant to speak because I think at that time you were a bit bitter. Uh, and I, I tried to encourage you and say, look, you know, everything is going to be all right. I mean, God doesn't abandon His own, and. Look at it today. I mean, you bounce back. Uh, God just makes us. That, that's just God's way of reminding us that He is God. Mm. You see, so, uh, Babaji, Babaji, let me tell you something. Uh, see, you see what I went through every time I say it. Uh, I have to thank my wife and my friends, my old my friends from Ajebule. 